Hey folks, Tata Collector, back at it again with another video. We're going game hunting. Let's go see if we can find some OG Xbox titles, only on Xbox. All right, folks, good morning. It is a beautiful, warm, sunny morning here in Southeast Georgia. And it's such a pretty day. I think I'm gonna go walk to the pawn shop and go game hunting. There's a pawn shop about a block or two away, right around this corner. So let's go see what they got. All right, folks, this place is by no means glamorous, but they do have video games, and that's what I'm after. There's some DS games back there. And there's a whole slew of games right here. So I'm about to go through them. That's pretty cool. So I was after only on Xbox titles today and uh, just picked up Pro Fishing Challenge and this is an Atlas game so that's awesome and I got uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer both of those for five bucks all right so right here we've got a thrift store I've never been in here before but we'll take a look and uh, see if there's anything in here all right folks that last place was a bus but check this out pretty old bus kind of cool all right we've got another pawn shop this one's called average joe's he's got games i've bought from him before he's pretty good on his prices let's go take a look Take a look. Look at that, that's pretty cool. John Wayne, limited edition, Monopoly, sealed. That's pretty cool. All right folks, uh, the pawn shop I just left didn't have anything except for that really cool Monopoly. So I'm gonna take a, a gamble and see if Rite Aid has anything. Right, they had uh, CDs and DVDs and Blu-rays, but no video games. You never know. I've never been into Rite Aid to look for video games. So, anyway, on to the next. All right, we'll go in here and take a look. I've scored games out of here before. No games. No score. Just DVDs. Just CDs. All right, we are at Coastal Pond, checking out some original Xbox games. See what we can find. Def Jam Fight for New York uh, on the Xbox. Yeah. Nice. Uh, I I got some uh, 
set these aside. Mac Assault, Xbox Music Mixer, Amp 2, those are all only on Xbox. All right, folks, just got back from that last pawn shop. And I racked up pretty good on uh, some original Xbox titles, only for Xbox. That's what I was after today. Um, had a fellow YouTuber tell me to be looking out for uh, original Xbox titles, so that's what I went after today. And I picked up a good little bit. So let's dive down to it. Okay, so here we are in the kitchen, and we're going to go over what I picked up today. Um, scored a, a few good few good titles here um, but what I was after today was uh, original Xbox titles so uh, to start off with uh, the first two I got at that horrible looking pawn shop with all the water in front of it um, but I got a really good deal both games for five dollars so the first one we got is pro fishing challenge now this is an Atlas title, and it was complete. So uh, I didn't even know Atlas made a fishing, a fishing game. That's pretty cool. So pick that up, and of course, um, I was after only on Xbox titles. Now this is not original case, um, but this is Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which did come out only on Xbox. It's not complete but there it is now he originally had twelve dollars marked on here twelve dollars are you kidding me nah uh -uh. both of them for five so then i went on to a few other places and uh really couldn't find anything i went to a few other pawn shops went to a thrift shop couldn't find anything so then i had to run back to town and i went to one more pawn shop that i did not hit up but the reason i didn't go earlier was because I had already been there um, earlier in the week to go pick up some DS games. Good thing about him is it doesn't matter what the title is on DS, every DS game is $5. That's it. So every time he gets in new Pokemon games, guess who's snatching them up for $5 each? Me. And then I'm turning around and I'm flipping them so I can add more games into my collection. All right, so the last pawn shop, he had uh, three Xbox titles, only on Xbox. He had Amp 2, and it was complete. And the booklet looks really nice. Um, the disc is not in bad shape. There are some scratches, but the good thing is, is that I have access to a disc resurfacer I can have all of these looking brand spanking new again. Then we have Mech Assault, only on Xbox. Unfortunately, it's missing the manual, but that's okay. Not a problem, still picked it up. Then we have Xbox Music Mixer, and it was also missing the manual, but that's okay. So that's going to do it as far as uh, original only on Xbox titles. We had five titles today. Not bad. Not bad at all. But what's going to make it uh, worth the while is that I picked up a, a flipper. I picked up a game that I can sell just like this and recoup all the money that I spent on all these. Um, that was $250. 250 that's five and then these were nine so that's fourteen dollars so I'm in the pawn shop and I'm opening up every case I'm opening up every case that is over there where the games are even if it doesn't have a game on the actual case because you never know um, you never know what somebody's gonna just throw in another DVD case and call it a day so I picked up and one I remember remember these discs from uh, back in the day um, back in the day meaning 2002 ish and uh, I open it up it's supposed to be a dual pack 
uh, volume 5 and volume 6. Well, I open it up, and volume 6 is in here, along with the, uh, the booklet for volume 6. But then when I flip it to the back, Booyah! Def Jam Fight for New York. Now, it's disc only, but disc only is worth 18 to 20 bucks. If I sell it for 18 bucks, I just recouped all the money I spent on these, and I got free game. So, there you go. Def Jam Fight for New York. It is scratched, but I'm going to put it in the disc resurfacer. And, uh, it should be good to go. The plastic in the middle, or the casing in the middle, it's good. There's no cracks or anything. So, that should be an easy recoup right there. And uh, there you have it, folks. That's going to do it. So, uh, I've got a link to my uh, eBay page in the description. I've got a link to my Macari page in the description. I also have my code that you can use when you sign up to Macari to get 10 free dollars just for signing up. There's no catch. You just use the code when you sign up, and they give you $10. They give you 10 they give me two. So you win and I win. I get enough people to sign up, I can grab me some free stuff. Um, so the links are going to be down in the description. And uh, I should have something really awesome coming in the mail. Maybe tomorrow, if not Thursday. Maybe Friday, I don't know. Um, there is no uh, tracking number on this. But I know the guy's good for it. He's already shipped it out, and um, yeah, man, I cannot wait for y'all to see what I got coming. So, there you have it, folks. Hope y'all have a good one. This is Tata Collector, and we'll see you.